Welcome to V-Drum Tips. This time we will build a percussion pad out of a can. We use the guitar jack, a Roland memory clamp, a piezo trigger, a can, additional adhesive foil, a rubber mouse pad, a few screws and some metal angles. Mark the position of the holes. We need two holes for the angles and one for the guitar jack. Drill the holes and remove the edges. Attach the foil if you want to have the look of a small drum. Connect the cables with the trigger through soldering. Cut out the piece of rubber in the size of your trigger. Use hot glue to attach it onto the bottom of the can. Now use normal glue for the trigger to not overheat it. The rubber will isolate the trigger from direct hits. Use the form of the can to mark the circle on the rubber mouse pad. Cut it out and use again hot glue to attach it to the can. Screw on the guitar plug and the metal angle. Check out if you can connect the 6.3mm cable. We use a memory clamp as rack clamp. Remove the original screw and replace it with the M6 screw. The screw has to be a bit longer to hold the angle. Bend the angle and extend one of its holes with the file, in case it is too small for the M6 screw. We use a wing nut to attach the angle. This way you won't need any tools if you want to apply the pad to the rack. Mount it to the rack and fix the wing nut. Connect the cable and test the pad. If the pad accidentally gets triggered, change the threshold setting in the module. We want to trigger a cowbell sound and use it as percussion pad. This video shows you the possibility of making a trigger pad out of everything, but it is still a better solution to buy a used PD-8 or PD-7 pad if you need additional trigger pads. They are cheap dual trigger pads with a better mounting system.